Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome everybody to Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. How's everybody doing today? I'm Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one inspirational book coach. And I have taught hundreds of women how to successfully write their books and generate a revenue. And that's something that I love doing. And I could also teach you that. But for, I, I guess over the last, what, year or two, we have had a, a tremendous interest among women who want to write their books. A tremendous interest. And we have students all over, all over the world who have already written their books and they're saying how much they love it, how much, you know, they have been inspired to write their books and share their knowledge with others who may not, you know, know uh, the things that they know. And these are some of the things that, you know, we teach here on the Aspiring Authors, at the Aspiring Authors Lab, you know, we teach people how to show forth their brilliance and, you know, help somebody who may be going through a, a difficult time, inspire somebody or, or teach someone about their expertise. And I'm going to tell you, uh, we're going to have a show coming up, okay? I, I don't know exactly when it's going to be. And you're going to hear from some of these women who have written their books for the first time. And some, some of them are even on their second and third book and how inspired they was, how impacted their lives have been, you know, through taking the Aspiring Authors Lab, um, uh, what, courses that we have. Because we have several courses that, you know, you could take at your own speed. And we're going to have that show covered up. That's just something that ran across my mind as I'm opening up the show today. But hit that share button and share this broadcast out you know, with your friends, because the theme for this month has been building self-confidence for authors. Thank you for joining me today. Building self-confidence for authors. And today we're going to talk about know your worth and then ask for it. You have to know your worth, but not only know your worth, but you have to ask for it. You have to ask for it. Okay, ladies, it all starts with you before you even start writing your book. And like I say, here at the Aspiring Authors Lab, we're here to help you write your, uh, reach your book writing goals and generate a continuous stream of revenue. Because I'm going to tell you, I see a lot of women, a lot of women devaluing themselves and, you know, hiding their brilliance. And I'm not judging because you don't know what you don't know. Okay. You don't know what you don't know, but this is something that you could learn how to value yourself, how to see your work, how to see the gems on the inside of you, wherever you may be, you know, in your book writing journey, maybe you haven't even started. But I want to let you know, there is hope. There is hope. Let me tell you this story, okay? And this is something that, you know, is really fantastic. There is this client that I'm currently working with. So brilliant. So much talent. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, it pains me to see herself carrying herself in, in, a, in a somber way, Okay? It, it really pains me to see so much talent and the person not recognizing their talent. Many people are going through life this way. I'm going to tell you, she has people waiting to purchase a book from her. And this is before she hired me. And she hadn't even started writing one sentence. Not even one sentence. Thank you for joining me today. Now, it's been a little over a month that I've been working with her. And I'm going to tell you, she has made tremendous progress. Everything that I told her to do, she has done. 
or she's currently doing it. Tremendous progress, y'all. And there are people, I'm going to tell you, who fail to see their worth where other people can see it. And I'm going to tell you, she is such a lovely soul, okay? And I'm so proud of her accomplishments. Her accomplishments. And, you know, how far she has come in such a short time. This is real, y'all. This is real. This is real life. Always remember that value lies within each and every one of you. Each and every one of us have value. But if you don't see it or you don't know how to access it, you go around thinking that you have nothing to offer. Thank you for joining me today. Or you think that what you have, you know, when you get to it is whenever. Like her. When she got to it, whenever. You know, she wasn't in any hurry to write a book because she didn't see the value within herself. And there are people that feel that way. They'll, they'll get to it when they feel like it. She already had people with money in hand, y'all. And she hadn't even written one sentence. Not one sentence. Now, this challenge can come from many different things. But the great thing about it is she's connected. And why is that? Because she sees me as an expert who can help her. And that's what I tell you all. Show up as that expert that your audience can trust. Give them value. Provide solutions. Hang out where they hang out. And most of all, be approachable. Be approachable. Ladies, I'm going to tell you, there is no need to continue struggling. There's no need for that. If you're having trouble writing your story, or you lack confidence and you're not seeing your value, or maybe you're overwhelmed and not knowing how to start, we can help you uncover your brilliance and get paid your work. That's something that we could do here at the Aspiring Authors Lab. I'm going to tell you, that was me at one time, not knowing my value. I was just wasting my time, keeping my treasures to myself, and not sharing my brilliance. Because I was writing for fun, you know, expanding my mind. And there's nothing wrong with expanding your mind, you know. But what came easy for me may not come easy for somebody else who may be struggling to find, you know, an answer or correct the way they're doing something or they may need a boost of inspiration. Think about it. What comes easy for you, it, it may not be easy for somebody else. It may be a struggle for them, a challenge. So never keep your brilliance to yourself. Never. Never. My turning point came, thank you for joining me today, when I experienced a suddenly, and my whole life was redirected. I'm going to tell you, that's the best day of my life. One of the best days of my life. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I took my hobby of writing for fun. And I turned that into writing books and getting paid. You hear me? Getting paid for what was inside of me. And that's something that you could do also. You have to create your wealth. It's not going to fall out of the sky, y'all. And nobody's going to give it to you. You have to create it. And for those of you who's waiting for your ship to come in, well, it's not coming in. So stop waiting on it and get busy being about your intentions of writing your book this year. You still have time. You still have time. Imagine writing a book and getting paid for the problems that you're solving or giving somebody hope through your message. 
Think about that. Imagine your audience seeing you as an expert because they trust your advice. And this can all be possible for you. It could all be possible for you. But the choice is your, yours. Make that decision that allows for no turning back. No turning back to that complacency or being mediocre. Because you are important. Your story is important. Your knowledge is important. Your expertise is important. See your book as a big deal. Your message is a big deal. Don't ever shy back from sharing it with the world. You don't have to feel undervalued or underpaid anymore. Just like my client. You can make that decision. You can make that decision. You know, I was tired of working hard for something and suddenly having everything snatched away from me in a moment's time. And that came when I was laid off twice back to back through no fault of my own when the housing market went bust. And that was back in 2006. So I took what was in my hand. I took what was in my hands and turned that into a viable business. Something that no one could take away from me. My experience, my expertise, my knowledge, my education, my passion, or my brilliance. And the same for you, ladies. The same for you. You have to see the treasures that lie within inside of you. No one could ever take that away from me. The only way you lose it is if you neglect to reveal your writing brilliance and keep it hidden. That's the only way. Thank you for joining me today. The most beautiful thing ever is when someone begins to unwrap their brilliance and you begin to see all the layers that were once hidden. Just like this young lady, seeing all the layers and, you know, she's still evolving into this beautiful writer. And it's a beautiful thing, y'all. It's a beautiful thing. So schedule a 15-minute discovery call with me. I love to hear and to point you in the right direction to wherever you may be in your writing journey. Maybe you have started. Maybe you're in the middle. Maybe you're at the end. Wherever you are in your writing journey, schedule that 15-minute call with me by going to bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. That's bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. I would love to meet with you, and I'm looking forward to it. So I hope this broadcast has added value to you. And has opened your eyes so you could see your worth and ask for it. That's so important. To see your worth, author, and ask for it. Remember that. So thank you for joining me today on the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. I'm Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one inspirational book coach. And remember, this is your time. This is your season. This is your turning point. So have a great rest of the day.